H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hello everybody. We are discussing the top 50 selenium interview questions that a professional or a fresher should know in 2020. Today's question is explain the different exceptions in selenium web driver. Guys, getting an exception in an automation test script or in an automation code is very common, isn't it? Exceptions are events due to which a test script or your code ends abruptly without giving an expected output. That is right. In Selenium, you can find multiple exceptions. The list of exceptions is also available in Selenium documentation on their official website. Here, we have listed down the most common exceptions in Selenium that you will see. They are timeout exceptions, no such element exception, element not visible exception and stale element exception. Now let us discuss each of these in detail. First, let me talk about timeout exception. This exception guys occurs when a command completion takes more than the wait time that you have mentioned in your script. Consider an example when web driver fails to execute a test script as the web page takes too long to load. In such case, we may get a page timeout load exception. Right? The next exception is no such element found exception. We see this exception every other day during Selenium testing. The reason for an element not found exception or a no such element exception could be because when the locator or an attribute for the locator provided in your test script or code is unable to find web element on the web page. Other reason could be web element not available on the web page altogether. The third exception message you may get when you are executing your test script is element not visible exception. In this case of exception or this exception is thrown to indicate that the element is present in the DOM, it is present in the document object model but it is not visible on or it is not available to, in, to be interacted by the tool. The last exception is stale element exception. Stale element exception means an old element or an element not available any longer. If uh, if the DOM of an element changes, then the web element goes stale. And if the tool it tries to interact with an element which is stale, then the state element reference exception or state element exception will be displayed or will be shown to the tester. Let us see one of the examples with these exceptions. I have prepared a script for you wherein we are going to log on to a Wikipedia page and we are trying to locate an element and perform an action on it. But as part of this example, I have given a wrong locator value. We will see the error or an exception that we will get in console on execution of that script. You see, our test script has failed with an exception message as no such element exception here. Thank you.